Hi and welcome to the first instalment of my trip to China. So Joe, like you just said, you're heading to China with your team. Uh, whereabouts is the race that you're going to base? Well, the race is based in um, Qinghai Lakes, which is near the Tibetan border. So first off, we far fly from Auckland to Beijing and then to the destination. And hopefully on the way, off in the distance, I'll be able to see Mount Everest. So obviously uh, you've been preparing a lot for this tour. Um, how's your preparation here in New Zealand been going? It's been going really good. I started training for this a few months before Tour of Taranaki, which I managed to reach my mid goal, which was winning, so I won. So now in the last month I've just been topping up the engine with erging. And yeah, so it's been raining quite a lot, so I haven't been able to do much outside, but what I've been doing outside has been real crucial, so it's done me all leading to getting out and racing well. So the, r the tour is going to be based at altitude, like you said. Um, how long are you spending acclimatising when you first arrive in China? Um, we're getting there five days beforehand, so that'll give us a good chance to get used to the height of the place. And um, just get over the jet lag, and just so we can like completely, in that five days, get focused to the job at hand, which is ten days of hard racing. So have you done anything here in New Zealand to help you adjust to the altitude when you arrive? Yep, at the beginning of June I started using Altolab, which is a simulated altitude training device. So I breathe on that for an hour a day, for a couple of days on, a couple of days off. And it's like breathing for a straw. There's actually not that much air up there, so when your lungs are burning, your legs will be burning, so everyone will be burning. Um, so in regards to heading off to the tour, what are you most looking forward to? I'm just really looking forward to get back at the top level of the sport and just throwing the cat amongst the pigeons and hopefully getting amongst it. So I know we've got a strong team lined up for this race, so hopefully we can show them what Kiwis can do and give them half the chance. I also heard that there may be some issues when it comes to food. Um, what are you taking with you to get around this problem? Yep, definitely with the food. It's quite different over there. So I'm taking my breakfast, which is going to be rolled oats for breakfast. And then for snacking on during the day, I've got cookie time, so I can have a cookie whenever I want. And then Immigrant Sun Coffee. This is going to put the edge back into me every morning so I can get up and do the business. Uh, so are you going to be having much downtime after the race finishes? Um, yep, after the race finishes, uh, we head back down to Beijing. We've got a few days there just to unwind share some stories, eat some funky food and just have a great time and just enjoy what China has to offer. So there also may be a few germs flying around uh, when you're on the plane over to Beijing. Uh, are you planning on possibly wearing a mask or something, you know, to, to stop you from getting sick this close to when the tour begins? Yep, definitely. I'm going to be making sure that I don't catch anything on the plane, so you can't ever be too sure. So. Oh, thanks for listening and um, stay tuned and hopefully in China there will be internet so I can put up some updates. Thank you.